Today is the day of the Lord. Let's welcome the Sunday homily with Father Ryan, RCJ. Brothers and sisters, we are in the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. On this 11th Sunday, our Lord is manifesting Himself to us through the readings that He is merciful. Pope Francis uses to tell us that mercy is the other name of the Lord. Our Lord is compassionate. Our Lord is mercy. In our Gospel reading, the Lord Jesus saw the crowd. And when the Lord Jesus saw the crowd, He felt compassion on them. He felt pity on them. He felt sorry for them because they were helpless. They were harassed. They were abandoned. They were like sheep without a shepherd. The Greek word being used for this compassion or pity is, is plagsnesomai. And this is a very deep word because this is plagsnesomai is really coming from the very deep of the emotions of one's person. And our Lord Jesus had this compassion, this mercy towards those sheep without a shepherd, towards the crowd who were really abandoned by their leaders. The metaphor of sheep without a shepherd, because there are plenty of sheep there in Israel. But in other countries, especially in the Philippines, since sheep are not really common, but we have many chickens, so we can use the metaphor like chicks without a chicken. <laughs> and out of this compassion of the Lord, the Lord uttered, The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. So beg, pray, rogate. So this rogate is a divine command. This is the reaction of the Lord after seeing the crowds who were abandoned. And this rogate comes from the compassionate heart of the Lord. And for us rogationists, our name comes from that word rogate. That's why this gospel perecope, especially this gospel passage, is very dear to us. Rogate. And this rogate comes from the merciful heart of the Lord who saw the crowd who were abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. So we can find here that Lord Jesus Christ has to do an action because when we feel compassion to the crowd or to the people or to somebody, this compassion is not only a matter of feeling or emotion. This compassion has to lead us into action. We need to do something. That's why I remember the prayer of one man. This man a little bit disappointed about God because this man realized the many problems, hardships all over the world. Many poor people are suffering. Many people are in affliction and being rejected and abandoned. And this man complained to the Lord, Lord, why are there are many people suffering? What did you do? And in his prayer, the Lord responded, I created you. And now, what did you do? <laughs> On our first reading for this Sunday, the Israelites were reminded by the Lord through Moses. The Lord God Yahweh delivered the Israelites from their affliction, from their slavery in Egypt. And it was the work of the Lord out of His mercy and compassion to His people. And the Lord reminded to the people, Remember that I am the one who rescued you. I am the one who brought you to this land flowing with milk and honey. And the Lord is only asking one thing from the people of Israel, just to be faithful with their covenant. Just listen to the Lord, hearken to the Lord, obey the Lord, and that's already enough. And we know in that Mount Sinai, 
the Lord gave them the Ten Commandments through Moses. And in these Ten Commandments, the Lord is asking to the people of Israel to listen to it, to obey it, to follow it. I remember the complaint of one daughter. And she said, My mother is more than God. Why? The father responded, Because, Father, the Lord has only ten commandments, but my mother has more than ten commandments. <laughs> and the Lord is very merciful. In our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, Despite of our sinfulness, despite of our wickedness, but the Lord came in order to save us, came in order to be reconciled with us. The Lord takes the first move due to His compassion, due to His mercy. Oh, how merciful and compassionate our Lord is. Our Lord found way in order for us to be reconciled with Him. He sent His Son in order for us to be justified, to be saved from our sinfulness. A friend told to this another friend, Oh, my friend, congratulations! You are already reconciled with your wife because last night I saw you. You and your wife, the two of you, were cutting the wood. And the friend responded, No, we are not yet reconciled. We are cutting the wood because we are dividing our property, even the furniture we are dividing. <laughs> Sometimes we are not ready to be reconciled with the Lord. And if the Lord has initiative so that we will be reconciled with Him, we always deny the initiative of God. We do not want to accept. But my dear friends, the Lord is our Master. The Lord is almighty and powerful. He knows everything. That's why we have to submit to Him and put our trust in the Lord. Like in the Royal Gospel, our Lord summoned His twelve apostles. He called His twelve apostles after calling them. He sent them for the mission. See, this mission is not coming from the apostles. This mission is coming from the Lord. The Lord is the owner of the harvest. The Lord is the owner of the mission. The Lord has chosen us, despite of our iniquities, despite of our sinfulness and unworthiness, but the Lord still chose us to be His apostles, to be His priests, to be His messengers, to be His ministers. What a gift from the Lord. Thanks for watching. And this is Father Ryan Jimenez of the Rogation is of the Heart of Jesus who always says, Purihin ang Diyos, Purihin ang Panginoon. God bless you all.